Hey guys, I'm uh, messing with my FAL again. Uh, the hop up was giving me troubles. I had run it through a bunch of um, BBs to try to get it to break in, but unfortunately that didn't seem to work. And actually, I think I ripped the rubber. Well, I know I ripped the rubber. So, this is the original rubber. You can see where the hop up comes in and it's supposed to push down. It's got a couple of notches. I think at one point my hop up unit came loose and that tore up the rubber. It still shoots okay but I want to shoot good so I'm trying to come up with a new solution so I'm actually trying a 3D printed hop-up unit and this is kinda a work in progress and I don't know if it's not gonna go anywhere but that's the original I have one in here I just shot it it's not giving me the results I want it was printed with this harder um, flexible material and I was using basically as a flat hop so I had no knob, no ridge, no nothing. I just slid it over and then the screw would push in on it and give it a little hop. Now you can see this is kind of rough, it's real rigidy. So I think that's some of the reason why it's not giving me a consistent hop. It will hop it, but it'll hop it too much and then too little. And then it's also having trouble feeding on full autumn. So I got a couple more solutions here. First I did this which is um, that same material, that flexible stuff. But the bottom part I printed out of regular plastic, you can see it doesn't flex. So I'm hoping that will help me feed better because the fully flexible one is having trouble feeding on full auto. Sometimes it'll just spew gas out. So I think it might be the lip here. So I did that. It goes from solid to uh, flexible. So I'm going to try that. Then the next thing I did was I got some Ninja Flex. This stuff is much more flexible. You can see the way that previous one flexes and the way this flexes. It's really easy to flex. This one's comparable to the original almost. Where this is the original and this is the Ninja Flex. It's pretty flexible. And it seems to have a good seal from what I've done by just like blowing on the barrel to see if I'm getting any air escaping. They all seem to have about the same amount of seal. So um, the plan right now is to try, I think I'm going to try this one first because it's so flexible. It's closest to the original. If that fails, I'm going to try this. The half solid, half flexible. And then if all of this fails, I'm going to take this thing, invert it out, shave off the rim and the knob, and then try to use that. And the, I'm going to be using a barrel that's, that I have done the G-Hop mod to, and I'm not going to explain that too much. There's a good tutorial about this. I'll link to it. I think it's by Top Hat Runner Airsoft. It's basically using a piece of regular bucking, but it's only in the window here. It's slightly glued down on the edges, so when you push in, I will be getting contact from from this rubber instead of from the 3D printed stuff which is kind of rough and you probably don't want that given your BB backspin it'll give it too much backspin. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart I'll show you what I had in there and then I'm going to try one of these alongside this G-Hop barrel and hopefully I'll get some good results good enough to take it to an outdoor field. Alright, so here's what I had in here before. So here's what I had in there. I had to um, I had to shape this down just to get it to fit. Uh, this is some of the markings from me trying to sand it down before. So that's the old one. It's obviously not working so great, so let's get rid of it. Actually, I'm just going to put it off to the side because I'm going to be using a different barrel. Here's the, the G-Hop barrel. I'm going to put on the Ninja Flex printed bucking. The nice thing is you can just slide it on anywhere because it's all symmetrical and identical everywhere. So that's how it looks. It's not very pretty but as long as it seals and hops, that's all I care about. So I'm going to put it back in the gun and we'll see how that works. Alright, so I got that installed and I just shot it on some semi-auto, full-auto and the results are pretty pretty good, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with them. Semi-auto, it seems very accurate, very repeatable accuracy. You just barely have to turn the hop on at all. Full-auto, it's a little more inconsistent, seems to be a little more all over the place. I'm having a hard time testing it at uh, long distances because I only have about 60 feet to shoot. But even at that, the grouping is all over the place. Of course, some of that is the recoil, so 
that's sort of what you get with a full auto gun with the actual kick. But I think some of it is my first uh, G hop attempt. I don't think it's very great. For now, this works pretty well. I'm going to wait for the twist barrel to come in and then we'll see how that shoots as well. Update time. Okay, I got my Tanya Kobo barrel right here. And if you don't know what these are, they're pretty much a regular barrel, but the biggest difference is they have actual rifling inside. And what that's supposed to do, I originally I thought that gave it spin, kind of like a real bullet. But it's supposed to give it more air around the BB on its way out, so there's less bouncing. So it's more consistent coming out. So we'll try that out. I've never used one, but I got one here. I'm taking the hop up apart again. I just tried two printed rubbers, one which had the solid backing to it and one that was entirely flexible. And I had some pretty good results on semi-auto, but full auto I'm still having a lot of trouble with getting consistent shots. I'm going to try the bucking that came with the gun, but I've inverted it, sanded off the knob and the ridge that keeps it in place. So now it's basically a flat rubber. So I'm going to try this in combination with the twist barrel and with the G-Mod made out of an old um, bucking. And we'll see how that goes. Alright you guys, I've now taken this gun apart like uh, six, seven times during this whole process of trying the different hop-ups or different buckings. So um, last update I was going to try the um, existing bucking that came with a gun uh, and that worked okay. It seemed to shoot pretty accurately but for some reason all of a sudden I had tro troubles feeding which I never did before with either the, this thing before it was shaved or with um, the 3D printed hop-ups. It might have been a couple of holes in here from the originally when the, uh, the hop-up would puncture through it and that might have been leaking just a little bit of air and the gun wasn't cycling properly. So I was pretty sure I was going to stick with this because it's the original one. All I did was shave off some stuff but it's so flimsy and so weak compared to the 3D stuff. The stuff's like bulletproof. I went back, took this out, put in a fully 3D printed flexible one and that seems to work really well, uh, especially semi-auto, it's really accurate, the long distance with this barrel in there. It seems to be dead on full auto, it's it's real shaky but that I, and it's a little all over the place, but I think it's partially because of the recoil, because the gun is moving so every shot's going to be just uh, maybe 2-3 millimeters higher coming out of the muzzle, but down range, that's a huge difference. So it's kind of what you would expect with a full auto recoil gun, I'm so used to electric guns that for me it not being a perfect stream of BBs throws me off. I'm thinking something's wrong, but I think this just the adjustment going from a electric gun to something that's heavily recoil. So I'm happy with it. Uh, one problem I did begin to notice was my mag started falling out. So I added some tape, electric tape around here, and I tucked it under this lip when you take the mag apart. So this way it doesn't scratch on its way in. But now it sits in there really tight, almost no wobble, and I haven't had one fall out since I've modded it with the um, electric tape. So it looks like the, it is possible to make a 3D printed hop up with the right materials and a lot of um, fine tuning, but it does work and that's what I'm going to keep in this gun. So next time you see it at the field, it will have this hop up in there and hopefully it will run well in the next show game because it's doing pretty well here in the back air testing. Hopefully you enjoyed this experiment of messing with uh, flexible materials and 3D printing and hopefully this was helpful to you so make sure you subscribe stay tuned and I'll see you on the next one